Hello, everybody. <sighs> I'm so tired. Uh, this is Kaylana, aka the Blessed Driver, back out on the road again. I um I did some Instacart today from seven to twelve thirty. Came home for a little bit. Now I'm back out on the road, so I'm tired, y'all. Ain't gonna lie. I was um I actually I canceled one 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 hour shift, which gave me a reliability incident on my account because I'm tired and so um, I wanted to take a, um, a break to take a rest um, and take care of some things but basically I had a strange morning <laughs> okay now in the previous video that I just did with the little afro that I had I, I had to pull it back up I couldn't do it um, I had a great I had a great first delivery but this is what happened so I'm in the grocery store. This is like my second batch, right? I dropped off one order to a uh, customer in um, in the Lake Mary Heathrow area, the one that gave me the twenty dollars tip. Very, very, very awesome lady. She's really nice. And so while I'm in the grocery store, okay, um, I'm about eighty percent finished with the order that I, that I was completing for this one um, customer that ordered some groceries. And so I'm at Publix, just walking around. Um, I had maybe about four or five items left. Then out of nowhere, I get like a text and then I get all these messages and that they added on another batch. <clears throat> Instacart added on another order to the order I was already doing. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe the customer wanted something in addition to what she ordered. Um, but long story short, that wasn't the case. So the app automatically refreshed itself and I had two additional orders on top of the one that I was already doing. So basically, I was shopping for three different people at one time. And keep in mind now, I'm shopping for one person, and her, her order was relatively large. And then they added on two more on top of that while I was almost done with that one. So not that that was a big issue, but the main issue was that the customer wanted her order delivered at, at a particular time. Now keep in mind that these people are paying for a service where the groceries are supposed to be delivered um, at, a, at a particular time Instacart added on two more orders unknowing to me and I'm now shopping for three people at the last minute long story short keep in mind that the area that I was in I had to drive 20 miles on the other side of town to a different county to drop off her order right the other two orders one was to a lady who was disabled and so I went back near that same side of town I just left to drop off the second order. Went back to the other side of town to the first lady, I mean to the first area of which was Okoe. So I'm like driving back and forth. So I'm basically total miles, I'm thinking maybe 60. I mean, I drove a lot. I'm like, they're ping-ponging me around. So did I call Instacart? Yes, I did. And I gave them a piece of my mind, you know, because they're wrong for that. And so, but when I got to the lady's house, the first one, the first order that was uh, that I had did not the first that morning, but the first batch from the second one, she uh, she was not happy. She snatched her groceries out of my hand and she slammed the door in my face. She was like, you know, um, I pay for a service, this and this, and you know, um, you're supposed to be here like an hour ago because I sent her a message through the app and letting her know that I was gonna be a little late because Instacart added on more orders without me knowing, and I was stuck over in the grocery store. And I said, ma'am, I would have been here almost an hour ago, but they added on more orders not this was not my fault and I apologize about that but she wasn't hearing it and which I can totally understand because think about it you know I mean I was extremely mad and here I am almost done with one order all of a sudden they added on an extra one so I couldn't get out of it so I had to shop for the rest of the people which set me back um but thank god like the, like the second order the one that was able the, the lady that was disabled she was pretty cool and I, you know, we talked for a little bit, and she's like, "Oh, you drive for Uber too?" And so it's like, "Yeah, you know, I drive for Uber." And so she offered for me to uh, drive, you know, her around like to her doctor's appointments or whatever, and for me to give her my information. But I think that's kind of like a setup because um, in the Instacart app, you're able to contact the customer through through text or through a phone call. But it's like an it's like an, an, an anonymous number. But she didn't have her set up, so she wanted people to call her on her real cell phone. Why I don't know, but I think that either one she was lonely or two she she just wanted to be annoying. I don't want I don't want to like say that's the reason why, but sorry I'm like under this this bridge, <laughs> and so 
She's like, oh yeah, call me, and I, you know, I would love for you to come pick me up because I, I have a girlfriend that that does, you know, they use Uber because she's an older lady, and I was like, okay, and so I had to, of course, you know, think about that because I don't like to give out my cell phone number, but I had no choice because I was talking to her back and forth about her order. It was just, it was crazy. So basically, that's how that happened today. They gave me extra orders while I was in the middle of the order, and I mean, and like, I'm not complaining because I, I made pretty decent from the four hours I was working this morning but it's kind of like it was very inconvenient to the customer that I had to shop for originally because she had to wait an extra hour and a half to get her order delivered when it should have been delivered like way before then and so and then it was kind of crazy for me because I was driving back and forth between different counties just to deliver groceries and that can affect my tip and it can also affect your rating but right now my rating is five is, is a 4.9 out of 5 which is very good um and my shopping score is very good. So, but still, I was just like, kind of like angry <laughs> about that. I'm not saying that they do that all the time because that's the first time that that's ever happened. But um, I did contact support. I did talk to them. I did send them messages. And so they're like, oh, well, you know, we, we put notes in the system. So we'll, you know, uh, if they contact us. So, so I said, wait a minute. So you're not going to go out and contact the customer yourself and explain to them what happened? That you guys did that? So I have to take the blame. Oh, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. So whatever. So that, that's what happened this morning. So when, after when I came home for a little bit, I had to come home and I just had to take a nap. I had to take a nap. I had to chill out because I was just like, I need to just, <laughs> you know, because sometimes when, when, when we encounter situation like that, we definitely don't want to go off of our emotions or based upon the circumstance because definitely, you know, you can end up uh, causing more damage um, because of how you feel. Sorry. I'm driving through Eatonville. Anybody knows about Eatonville, this is where Zora Neale Hurston is, is originally from the hood <laughs> yeah but um and now i'm in maitland so yeah anyway i want to say my every single move because you don't know who's watching youtube you don't know who's a spy you don't know who's crazy and stuff so yeah um that's kind of how that happened but do i love instacart i still love them i still love y'all but um things happen and so that's just that's just life but anyway i'm gonna get off of here so yeah i had three people to shop for all at one time <laughs> it was crazy it was a hot mess but um, I did pretty good, and so um, I thank God for that. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for New Year's yet, but I'll do that on another uh, on a, another vlog because I think I have an order coming in, um, another batch from Instacart, and so I might drive um, for Uber or I might be at church because they do have New Year's services at different ministries here in Orlando. I don't know where, and I'm not going to say, but I am going to probably get some rest. I don't know yet, but I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. God bless y'all.